This is a reminder that there exists a cream out there that costs between six and $8,000 to use if you use it on a regular basis, repurchasing it monthly for the duration of a year. The La Mer Creme de La Mer Cream exists and is sold by the brand La Mer under the parent company Estee Lauder because of this magical seaweed that they claim to put inside of their products, specifically what they have in this miracle broth. While La Mer, as wonderful and coveted as it is and as much as some people love it, it is ridiculously expensive. And I'm sorry, if I'm not a celebrity who's getting this as free PR or if I don't have you know, the type of money that I'm just gonna flush down the toilet, I, I cannot afford and I will not choose to spend 300 to 600 bucks on a tub of cream that's going to expire eventually that I need to regularly slather onto my face. Especially when less expensive, just as good options exist that also have extraordinarily similar, if not better seaweed options than the Creme de la Mer has. So let's go back to the Creme de la Mer before we talk about some of these inexpensive and cruelty-free dupes. Because when you look at this, you think that there must be something amazing in this. The way that la Mer tells their story is about this Max Huber physicist, this scientist who cut his hand in a lab and six years later after dunking it in some seaweed, found this wonderful way to play music and LED light shows to seaweed and then eat it and feed it to celebrity friends of his in Beverly Hills. Uh, and it magically cured people's skin of like all of their problems. Oh, and their eye problems. Yep, that was a thing. Now when Max Huber passed away, his formula was sold, but nobody could really get the formula just right. So what did they do? What any logical company would do. Of course, you call up a psychic medium and you speak with like a Ouija board to the dead. And so they contacted Max Huber's spirit and um, realized that they had to play the seaweed music to appease it before they kill it and put it into their products and then use preservatives on the products and then ship them across the country on hot trucks before they sit on a shelf for a year to get on your face. And somehow that activates the seaweed and makes it amazing. When we look at the ingredients, they are quite basic. Yes, there is some awesome seaweed, specifically giant sea kelp. There's some great stuff in here like panthenol. There's tocopherol succinate and there's a whole bunch of different oils such as eucalyptus and lemon, which give La Mer that signature scent. But if you look in there, there's also petrolatum, this petroleum jelly that is purified. And that is the basic, inexpensive, literally petroleum, aka oil industry derived Vaseline, Salimo jelly, the stuff that we get for $2 at the drugstore. So when I tell you they're making a killing on this and they are marking it up, oh, are they making a killing on it? And are they marking it up? And listen, if you have the money, if you want to feel bougie, go for it. The problem that I have is when celebrities shove this down our throats telling us that we need it in our routines and make us feel horrible for not having it. And when we buy it, it doesn't work with the expectations that we place upon it. You see what I'm saying? You don't just see what I'm saying, you feel what I'm saying. Specifically when it comes to this La Mer, we have algae or this seaweed extract. We've got mineral oil. We have paraffinium liquidium. We have petrolatum, glycerin. I so hexadecane. All of these are fine, but they are so inexpensive. And La Mer is very curious because they don't actually specify what type of seaweed they're using. Unless you look at other places on the website where they do say, you know, we have this antioxidant blend. We use this giant sea kelp, but let's look a little bit more at some giant sea kelp, shall we? Giant sea kelp or bladder kelp is a species of kelp or large brown algae. And it's primarily found from the Pacific Ocean. We're talking from Mexico all the way up to Alaska. It's also in some areas of South South America, South Africa, Australia, and New Zealand. And it is a really cool organism. There are studies showing that kelp can soothe skin, that it has antioxidant properties, it may be helpful for wound healing, it may be soothing for people who have constant irritation, perhaps due to conditions like eczema or psoriasis, and it can really help to deliver a lot of benefit to the skin. But La Mer is putting this in their products along with basic petrolatum and selling it for hundreds of dollars. <laughs> La Mer is also not cruelty free. And that is something that I am extremely passionate about. When we have the option to not harm other beings and to still look and feel beautiful and to thrive and be healthy, why would we exploit others? Especially when the testing that is done on animals does not always translate to how it works on or in humans. And even outside of that, it's more costly. And that's not the only reason that La Mer is charging this kind of price tag, but when there is an option to look in a different direction, that is something that I am more prone to doing. So do you know what I did? 
Oh, I did exactly that. And I found some drugstore options that are literally the spitting image of La Mer. I found some other options that are quite intriguing. And I even found a luxury option that has a form of seaweed that I think is better than what La Mer has. And yes, it's literally a fraction of the price. So let's start talking about this. This is a body cream from the Seaweed Bath Company that I found at Whole Foods. And when you look at this, you're like, oh, it's a, a body cream. Why would I put that on my face? Well, my friends, turn and learn and you'll find that this has some of the exact same ingredients that La Mer does, only I think this is a bit better. Now, what's also sneakingly suspicious is that yes, you'll notice that this is the unscented one. That is what I would prefer in my routine. La Mer does not have an unscented option. They really have this kind of eucalyptus scent. It's kind of a eucalyptus lemon, which comes from that oils that they put in their product, but they also have fragrance or perfume. Wow! The Seaweed Bath Company just happens to have a eucalyptus citrus sort of scent. They also have a lavender one, but holy shit, when I tell you that their eucalyptus one is like <laughs> basically La Mer, but you get like twice as much and it's a literal fraction of the cost. And this is so similar. This doesn't have that petroleum jelly, that oil byproduct, but this does have, yes, our seaweed, as well as caprylic triglyceride, safflower seed oil, and glycerin, as well as shea butter. This is a super thick and luxurious cream. And this is probably the thickest of the three that I have here. And it's the most comparable when it comes to the actual texture. And what's fascinating is that this actually has more of the seaweed as far as a concentration goes than La Mer does. Okay, okay, and I understand that this seaweed did not get a musical concert. It did not get an LED light show. Like this seaweed did not go to a rave before it was put in this product the way that La Mer seaweed gets to. But I can give this its own rave when it's like driving home in my trunk and I'm blasting my music very responsibly driving down the freeway and it's not gonna cost me the price of groceries for a month and a half. Now this body cream continues to be fabulous because guess what it also has? Panthenol, AKA that vitamin B5, the exact same B vitamin that La Mer has in their products that they're saying makes it so special. This also has tocopherol, that vitamin E, which is not the same as tocopherol succinate, but very similar to what's in La Mer. And overall, I find this to be one of the best and and least expensive cruelty-free dupes for La Mer. No one else is talking about this, and I think it's because it's labeled as a body cream, but it's literally totally fine to use on your face. It absorbs fairly well, and when we actually look at the seaweed, the type of seaweed that they're using is also a brown seaweed, specifically bladder wax seaweed. And if you remember, the type of seaweed that La Mer is saying that they use is this sea kelp, this giant sea kelp, basically bladder kelp, and it is a type of brown seaweed. Now, it's not exactly the same as the bladder wax. They are similar, and they are grown in the same area areas such as the Pacific Ocean, but they are in a different order when you look at their biological classification. So there are some slight differences, but overall there's a lot of great studies for this type of seaweed and they both have antioxidant benefits. They both support the skin and inside of these formulas, they also have these hydrators. They also have this panthenol. They have these antioxidants and I'm just like, <laughs> When this exists, how is La Mer still in business? And I think it's because people literally don't know. Now, if you were to Google La Mer dupes, what comes up is often Nivea, because with the panthenol, with the paraffinium liquidium, the glycerin, it's basically the same thing. But you'll also find this Mario Badescu seaweed night cream. Oh, and even the packaging is sneakingly suspicious. You know, for the longest time, I thought La Mer was glass. I don't actually think it's glass. I think it's just really heavy plastic. This is um less fancy plastic. Uh, but again, the resemblance is strong here. Now, something you'll notice when you open this up is that the color is different, but boy, does it feel similar. And again, when it comes to the scent, when it comes to a lot of the things that they've actually put in here, we are still getting a ton of similarity. Now this is different. This does have hydrolyzed elastin and soluble collagen. And again, vegan and cruelty-free from Mario Badescu. And this does have fragrance. And I know the internet loves to hate on Mario Badescu. And um, we have a video explaining some of the drama but also some of the unfair criticism of Mario Badesco and their products, because as a brand, they have quite the story. But some of their products are horrible, and some of their products are not terrible, if not great. And this happens to be one of them. If you're okay with the fragrance of this, this has this bladder whack brown seaweed. What's interesting about it is that it's green. And that's because I think that it's called a seaweed night cream and people expect it to be green. So they're just leaning into that and they're like, here, seaweed. Uh, but it's actually a brown seaweed um, that is related to this sea kelp, which is, you know, the bladder one that we are talking about. Why is it called bladder whack? I don't know. Um, it's basically those little balls that you see. If you ever go walking down the, um, Boardwalk in Santa Cruz, California. In the warm California sun. Boardwalk. 
This formula is a little bit lighter in texture. It's almost a little bit drier, which is kind of weird to say as a moisturizer, but it's less moist. It's more of a dry, but still hydrating formula, if that makes sense, in kind of the way that it leaves your skin. And this would actually be really great under makeup, especially because it doesn't pill. Whereas if you overdo it with this, or if your skin doesn't absorb this as much, might pill just a touch. This right here is fantastic. The glycerin in here is super hydrating. And if you're looking for those benefits of seaweed and looking to not spend the same kind of money, Boom, shakalaka. Now, what if you're someone who's like, you know, I want La Mer, I am a luxurious queen. I know what I want in life and I'm going to get it. And I am choosing to spend my money on something that is nice, but I don't want to support La Mer for my own reasons or because they're not cruelty free or not vegan, whatever you would like. Well, I've also got an eco-friendly, cruelty free, California made, vegan, eco-sustainable option. This is from Osea and it's actually in glass packaging. Unlike this Mario Badescu, and unlike La Mer. This is a higher quality than La Mer and it costs less. This is literally called the Advanced Protection Cream. It's made off of the California coastline, just like the original La Mer used to be before it was sold to Estee Lauder and now they just make it wherever. Did you know that they actually got into a lawsuit in China because their seaweed wasn't fresh? Everyone's innocent until proven guilty in the court of law, but like, holy guacamole, like it just doesn't stop. Now this formula happens to be one of the most luxurious, but also one of the most liquidy of them all. As you can see, it is a very thin Thin, light texture, but the ingredients and the seaweed does not disappoint. And what's fascinating about this is that this isn't actually a brown seaweed. This has a form of red seaweed that I actually think is better. It soaks into the skin nicer, it feels better, and a lot of the data actually backs up that this red seaweed is really potent and really helpful for skin. Uh, specifically, I'm probably going to butcher this because when you read a lot but you don't actually speak and interact with other humans, you kind of end up pronouncing things wrong, and then if you couple that with ADHD and dyslexia, it kind of just compounds and kind of makes your life a living hell. But all of that aside, I'm gonna try to pronounce it and we're gonna do our best. I believe this is pronounced a Gigaretina Scotsburgi extract and that is a red seaweed that is phenomenal. This red marine algae has actually been shown to have antiviral activity. It's also been shown to be potentially anti-photo aging, so protective from the sun, not a replacement for sunscreen, but you could use this underneath sunscreen as an extra layer of moisturizer. And it has these bioactive compounds that support skin. The ingredient list on this has water, caprylic triglyceride, which we find in a ton of different moisturizers. We've also got that safflower seed oil. We have squalene, which we spoke about in a recent video, which if you didn't see, I'd highly recommend. Because remember, squalene is what we make and what sharks make naturally. But then when the squalene walks down the lane to get hydrogenated, it becomes squalene, which is what we find in cosmetic products. So if you haven't seen that video, science lesson time. This also has glycerin, this has sunflower seed oil, and yes, this has avocado and jojoba. So this is fantastic. And you can see that from those oils, it does make it a little bit more liquidy, uh, but I actually find that it absorbs into my skin slightly better. And it gives me a little bit more of a hydrated, dewy glow. Whereas again, the seaweed one, this is the best bang for your buck, but it pills if you use it too thick. But that is a really fantastic one if you're looking for skin support. And then the Mario Badesco, if you want something that has kind of a dry touch, this is going to be it. This will be great under makeup. But if you want that kind of glowy, hydrated, dewy skin, this one is the best bet. But it is also the most expensive. But it is not expensive as compared to La Mer. <laughs> this also has aloe for skin support, as well as glycine and hydroxyproline. These are basically amino acids or polypeptides that are super hydrating and nourishing to skin. This is one of the best for and it is fantastic and it actually backs up what they claim. The CBD is derived from California, it's made in California, it's eco-friendly, it hydrates and absorbs well and if you are the type of person who's got a little more money and you're like you know I do want to feel bougie when I use my skincare I just don't want to be ripped off and bougie here it is, there you go. And again, if you're on a super tight budget, this body cream is a great way to get the seaweed without having to spend the money. And this also works really well on elbows and kneecaps. And again, Mario Badescu, if you don't mind the fragrance, this is a really good dupe for a really good reason. And although I don't recommend Nivea because it's not cruelty free, if you're looking for not the seaweed, so you just want the texture of La Mer without the seaweed, the Nivea cream, the one with the vitamin B5, the panthenol, it's where it's at. The Nivea one is almost identical, even down to the fragrance, it is so similar, and the fact that they're both not cruelty free. Why do you think La Mer is still able to get away with spending this kind of money? Do you think that consumers just don't know? Do you think that people don't care? Or have you used La Mer? compared to any of these and do you actually think it's better? I genuinely want to know, and I also want to genuinely know if you like the meme at the end of today, 
today's video. Again, we're on a mission to collect them all, kind of like Yu-Gi-Oh or Pokemon cards. So let me know how your collection's looking. And if you didn't know that we have a meme at the end of each video, I pity your sad, sorry existence up until now. Welcome to the family. You can start collecting at any time. <laughs> Always remember to be beautiful both inside and out. Don't overspend your money on things that aren't cruelty free, that aren't worth the money, and that just line the pockets of very rich people who apparently used psychic mediums to speak to the dead. And I cannot wait to see you in this next video because if you haven't seen La Mer story, you gotta start right here. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye.